Hey everyone, welcome back. This is Larry Lonsby Jr. and this is 100 Days of Making Comics, the Astro Traveler series. Now, this is day 31. Today I worked on a rough uh, page for uh, when Oba meets the Oracle, the Ice Elemental Oracle, and they have a discussion. Well, mo mostly the Oracle is talking to Oba. Uh, there'll be forthcoming pages where they have a bit of a discussion on something that's uh, going to transpire or occur in the storyline. Uh, kind of played around with the first two two uh, panels, trying to uh, just be different with them. Uh, kind of liking how it's turning out. We'll see how the how it transfers to the uh, Bristol board and uh, the final page from that. Um, as far as the oracles are concerned, I made uh, several different type of uh, elemental, ancient elemental oracle type uh, characters in the storyline that are spread out all over the world and they do play somewhat of a part in uh, major conflicts and stuff that that happens during the storyline. Uh, some are good, some are bad, some are neutral. It just depends on uh, how you look at it in the story. Um, I guess the oracles are kind of uh, ancient and, and wise, but some of them uh, some of them are fixed, and like you've seen the one elemental like head, the oracle head that I had, uh, he moves around, and uh, he doesn't have a body, but it's like a, a big head, and uh, so it just depends on the type of uh, characters I created for it. I wanted to keep them abstract and different, and I, I love history, so I've studied a lot of uh, mythologies from different um uh, cultures, a lot of Mayan, uh, Native American, uh, Norse, uh, even some Asian culture and stuff like that. Uh, I'm just now getting into some uh, Indian, uh, Hindu and stuff like that culture. Uh, just I just love studying their gods, their mythologies, their myths. So I, I try to incorporate some of that in my storylines and uh, because I think it's interesting how... Uh, like with the hero's journey, they can come across these gods and these oracles and these people that kind of help them along the way. Uh, the second sketch that I did today uh, was like one of these oracles. Uh, I'm not even sure who it actually is. It's It's got like that uh, Mayan, Native American type uh, crossover feel to it. I'm not sure what she'll play in the storyline. Uh, it was just an idea that I had, so I sketched it and started doing a little bit of gray tones with it and finished it out. Uh, just the rough. I want to eventually do the rest of the gray tones and add more details to the outfit. I'm not sure what she'll play a part in, but she'll work her way in there somehow because I came up with the image. I really, uh, really enjoy Mayan uh, culture. Uh, I studied a lot of Mayan stuff uh, independently just so I could learn a lot of their uh, architecture and artwork and uh, pyramids and all kinds of different things, even their uh, their the language that they that they use the symbols and stuff like that. I have a book that teaches you uh, how to actually read some of the uh, hieroglyphs and stuff like that that they have, and I like to incorporate that stuff in my work as far as like just like the feel of it and. Um, uh, off topic, I mean, me and my son a few years ago went down to Guatemala just so we could go and see some of the, uh, we went on vacation to see a lot of the pyramids and some of the ancient sites. And uh, part of it was in Tikal uh, National Park, which was in the jungle when we went to some pyramids and, and got to see these hieroglyphs and some of these these statues and, and uh, uh, stellas and stuff like that was carved out of stone. They were huge and, and just I was really inspired by some of that stuff and so I, I like to bring it into my to my uh, world and storyline. So uh, that's it for today guys. I just thought I would share a little bit on that type of stuff. Um, as far as mythologies that are concerned, I think there's a lot of good stuff there and if if you guys ever just get into that that subject, just just pick a culture and just go through their mythology and stuff. It's, it's fascinating to learn uh, the stories. And that's, that's basically what I want to be. Um, not just 
writing novels and writing scripts and doing the artwork and that. I want to be a storyteller. I think for, foremost, that's the most important thing for me is to be able to tell a story. Uh, so with that, uh, you guys take care. Keep on pushing with your 100 days. Uh, I look forward to checking out the other creator stuff uh, every day. And take care. This is Larry Lunsby Jr. And this is day 31, uh, 100 days of making comics.